and tonight I'm at the Radisson um, Plu Sky City, um, Stockholm Airport um, and this is a uh, business class twin room uh, 569 I have my flight delayed so um, SA has put me here to the misconnection so, so whenever you fly within the European Union make sure that you know the uh, the regulations that what they actually need to do so anyway so uh, this is very convenient it's actually within the terminal itself between the um, terminals 4 and 5 so here we have a bathroom um, yeah, this is relatively basic, so they have some of their, uh, um, I don't know, I haven't seen this brand anywhere else, Anna Semonin, sounds almost like Russian, who knows, um, and here's the bathtub, uh, shower head, and uh, yeah, this is probably a very expensive hotel if you just have to book it by itself, because it's, it's located inside the airport, but uh, so if your flight is delayed, you miss your connection, SAS is likely going to put you here at their expense so there's the ironing board um, so these are like those tiny tiny European beds like it's almost enough for one bed if you kind of like how to say um, put them together uh, so this chair work desk with a uh, fancy um, coffee machine mini bar TV and this luggage rack and uh, so, so, there's, so there's some wine and snacks and the mini bar is actually quite okay. So I don't know if I consume everything, whether SA is, is going to pay for this or not. Um, hopefully they will. So there's only, oh my goodness, there's only two capsules. That's pretty bad. Um, I love the fact they actually have their um, channel guide um, on the, uh, I mean, I don't like that they actually uh, mount it on the wall, but I, I do love the fact that they actually have it. Uh, and what else? I think this is a little bit like a Scandic style, um, not really like fancy fancy, but it's very difficult to find uh, really nice hotels here in Nordic countries anyway. So, this was the um, Radisson Plu uh, Sky City, uh, Aranda, Stockholm Airport, and this was a business class room 569.